Welcome to this little tutorial. It's an Adobe Photoshop Elements tutorial and it's simply uh, cropping images and then saving them to the web. Uh, if we have a look first of all in the Photoshop tutorial fo folder here which I've put on the desktop, you'll notice that there are uh, three folders. Original images, those are images one will use over a series of three tutorials. A folder containing the templates and then a folder which will contain the web images. So the first thing we're going to do, I'll just close that down, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to double click on Adobe Photoshop and open up the uh, Photoshop Elements package. Now the next thing you want to do is to click on edit. And you can see the Adobe Photoshop Elements package is loading up. So here we are. Uh, you've got your your desktop, you've got your tools down the left hand side, and you've got your menu up along on the top here. Now quite simply what we want to do is we want to open up the template. So we click on file, open, and on the desktop in that Photoshop tutorial uh, folder double click on templates and what we're going to do today is we're going to do a landscape now, right so double click to open up your landscape and this is your landscape template now you'll notice if you look at the right hand side there are three layers to this so they're stacked on top of each other there's one layer for the background there's one layer for text, that's quite simply Spring Show 2011. And there's a layer for the image. Right, so we want to, we want to uh, open up our original image. So File, Open. We'll need to move up a folder, so up one level, Original Image. And the original image is Landscape. Now if you look at the size of this for a second, it's 4,752 pixels by 3,168 and it's 2.34 megabytes. So it's quite a sizable image. I'll go ahead, click on that, open it up and there's your image. Now what we want to do is to crop that image. Right? So to fit it into our template, it has to be cropped to 680 pixels. So we click on the crop button here. Type in, I've already done this, 680 pixels up here is the width. 500 pixels is the height. And the resolution is 72 pixels to the inch. That's all you require for web use. Now, we click on the crop tool and decide exactly what part of the image you want to keep. Now say for instance we want to cut out this uh, lady in the, in the white coat. So moving across, and you can move this around and you can play around with it as much as you want. Uh, in fact, you know, there's your image. You can actually, the little handles on the, on the corners, you can move them. Say for instance we only really wanted this basket. down a little bit and when you're quite happy with that what you do is you click the little green arrow commit current operation and that's our image cropped the next thing we want to do is to place the image on the template so make sure you're on the move tool click on that press ctrl a that selects the image Control C to copy. Move across to your template. And here we are. On the image layer, press Control and V, and that will place your image onto the template. Now, you'll notice actually the two images are on top of each other. And if you click on the little A here, on the image underneath, that will get rid of the other image. It doesn't get rid of it, you just can't simply see it. The visibility is down to zero. 
So we want to move our image. Notice the gay, gay lines here. You want to move the image image up a bit. So click on the move tool again, and you can just click on the cursor up and down, left and right, up. Move it up to the gay line, and there's your image. We've got our text in here, which can can change. Of course, what we need to do is go to the text layer, and if you can type type in text tool and just whatever you want to put in instead. So text say it was 2012 instead of 2011. Just change that to a 12. Right, just move it back and change it to 11. Right, that's you finished. All you have to do then is you want to save that for the web. So, file, save for web. And it shows you the original image is 1.58 megabytes. The image now is 57K, which is a lot less. And we're happy enough with that. We're saving it as a JPEG, which is normal for photographic images. Click OK. It asks us where we want to um, save that. We're going to save it in web images. And we're going to call it landscape. So we'll call it landscape. So, and there you have it. Your image has been saved. And now it can be uploaded to your website.